Welcome to almost the last part on this video series of presentations on the upgraded single bay NAS hard drive from Western Digital, my book World Edition White Light. Your host is, as usual, David or Dave. And in this uh, part of the video presentation, I'm going to be uh, recording the screen on my phone. But before I do that, uh, we have to make note of the IP address. Uh, which is, you know, still th this one right here, or here, uh, because this is the information that we'll need in order to access the drive through the phone uh, through a specific app. So before I switch to the screen on my phone, this is something that I need to know. So the app that we will need from the Play Store is the following. We open up the Play Store and we have to search for Total Commander. This is a great app for file management and similar things. I already have mine installed, but you will also need an additional plugin to install uh, with that app. So we're just going to go here and LAN. So you need the LAN plugin installed as well. Uh, another thing here I can mention is that. Uh, traditionally uh, or usually you would need the uh, WD MyCloud app or yeah the MyCloud app I also have mine installed but you know um, this approach doesn't work for this uh, older uh, NAS hard drive but I can show you it would open it up it would go to connect to local device and you would go to WD device and you will need some sort of an activation code and this is something that this uh, NAS hard drive doesn't have this option but MyBook Live does so if you have a MyBook Live you can connect uh, to that NAS hard drive using this app but also Total Commander I use pretty much Total Commander because it's very convenient So we're just going to close this and we're going to open up uh, my total commander. So this is with what you're greeted. I have all possible plugins installed. So then you would go to LAN or Windows shares right here. You would click on it or tap it, then you would go to new server. And here you can make a name, uh, I'll probably use okay. Then here it asks us for the directory and this is the IP address that we noted uh, at the beginning of this video. Yours of course naturally might differ. And here I, you know, I can already, if I want to add a specific uh, root folder, I can just, you know, uh, decide to mount uh, public for instance or private, but for that one I would need a password, so I will show you that. But for now we're just going to leave this as it is. And the username we're going to go with admin, and also the password will be the same. We're going to uncheck this, and leave this checked, and this also checked. And then we go to OK. Then this pops up. We're going to Tap it, and there we go. We have access to the NAS hard drive. So, I don't know, let's go to public. And there you have also these folders and the one over here. And right here near the house logo, that's over here you have another confirmation that this is a working uh, three terabyte upgrade. So let's see if I have any files. No, naturally, <laughs> yeah, only here. Yeah, but I cannot 
open any of these. Yeah. Software, yeah. So that's it. Uh, basically, I can show you um, how it plays, let's say, movies or smaller video clips, music, uh, because I don't want to get a copyright strike on my uh, channel or on my videos, so I can't do that. Uh, but I can tell you that it streams uh, movies uh, smoothly, flawlessly, there, there is no lag or uh, any delay of any kind, so, but of course that again depends on your wireless connection that you have uh, in your home. Now let's see what uh, would happen if I wanted to try to access the private folder which has password uh, behind it, so you cannot actually access the contents of the rough. Let's see. We greet it with a screen that we need to put in the password. I already set it for the purpose of this presentation to moderator. Let's type it in. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't work. Let's try again. Hmm. Yeah. I noticed that uh, this doesn't work because you have to uh, mount the private folder uh, in the beginning using the necessary correct uh, credentials. So if, uh, if you're logged through admin, you cannot access the private folder uh, using a different credential other than admin. So we'll go to here and we'll go again to new server. And we'll just, for the purpose, we'll just type mod private. Okay, and then the same address. And we're going to go to public, uh, private. Yeah, this is it. And then mod. And then password moderator. And, they, and I think this should work. Check this and check these two. All right, let's give it a shot. Uh huh, perfect. Of course, I don't have anything inside, uh, so the folder is empty, but I have access. And I can also access other folders because I've uh, set the necessary uh, credentials um, on the web administration page uh, through the network storage manager submenu. So I can also access the public. And this is it. So I have organized uh, the connections or the mounted folders a little bit. So it's nice and handy. Uh, maybe one thing I can show you is, for instance, how it opens up uh, PDF files, Adobe Acrobat files, therefore. So let's go, let's log in as admin and let's go to public, this folder and user manuals and English. And we're going to select the download plus open with option. So the PDF file is temporarily uh, saved onto the phone, copied from the NAS hard drive onto my phone and then we can scroll and read the instructions. So, you know, you can see almost no delay. So no problem with that. When you go back, it deletes it, so perfect. Uh, so, Apparently, if you know, if I was to again uh, go through admin and try to co try to access the private folder, yeah, the pri uh, the access is denied. So when you're, if you can create a connection with certain credentials, you cannot even if you provide the necessary password to access other folders, 
you cannot do that. You have to create a separate connection in order to access those folders. Maybe that is a drag a little bit, but perhaps this can be solved through uh, groups uh, by adding uh, certain users into groups. Maybe this can be solved in that way. I don't know. I'm not going to go into uh, examples like how to copy or delete files. Uh, so let's say on the NAS hard drive itself or how to copy files from your phone to the NAS hard drive and vice versa because uh, now it's, re it's really easy actually. Uh, so this is something that you'll have to learn for yourself. I'm just giving you a basic presentation that uh, the drive is accessible through this app and it works and it is a an actual as such uh, real capacity three terabytes but more on that uh, again uh, will be discussed in the next video part six which will be the last one so let's go back and then of course you can also delete all of these connections by holding your finger on the name of the connection then choosing the necessary options and you can also of course edit them if you want to change certain things so this is pretty much it for part five to be precise uh, if you thought that i'm going to show you how it plays movies and such so sorry i have to disappoint you you know copyright strike and so forth but as i've mentioned it uh it streams files of various multimedia nature flawlessly with no uh, delay and of course as usual as the proverbial saying goes i'm actually repeating myself a lot uh like share comment section is open so comment and of course subscribe so this is david telling you goodbye and good night